What's up everybody, it's Wandering Hippie and welcome to the Hippie Circle. So this is going to be the first video today on the of the comprehensive guide for New York. And this is going to be a guide telling you the rods and reels you need and my suggestion for what you should take. Now, granted, I'm not an expert on on New York, but I've done enough fishing in New York to know at least how to make some money. Now, the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a rod and a reel that's about eight pounds for lures. So I prefer spinning, but you can use casting preference. To be honest with you, I normally use casting for the pike and spinning for the, uh, the sauger and the walleye. All right, so you're going to have, you know, I've got a 9-pound rod, I've got a 13-pound rod. This is only for the casting. Um, here again, I've got 11-pound. You're not going to need anything more than about 10, 12 pounds here, rod and reel-wise. So you're going to need one bait rod. I'm going to be using this Nero. Um, you could possibly get away with the Omni Float, but... I prefer the Nero just because of the casting distance. Again, it's preference there. Now you're going to need for bait. You're going to be. You're going to need to take minnows because pike eat minnows. Minnows are shiners. One of the two. Doesn't matter. All right. As far as what we're going to be using for lures, I have found that. All these casting spoons here work from a quarter of an quarter of an ounce to a half ounce. All the narrow spoons work. I have more luck with the fourth the quarter ounce, but the, the half ounce will work as well. I'm taking nano spinners and spinners just in case I want to do some perch fishing. Uh, the pike will bite the the pike will bite spinner baits. Oops, the the pikes will bite will bite cranks, they will bite crankbaits, they will bite poppers, they will bite walkers. So obviously the lower the level you're only going to be using the lower level you're only going to be using the, the spoons and maybe some of the soft plastics which if I was going to take soft plastics I would take grubs and shads in the three and two inch variety. That being said you're going to need rods that can handle between a quarter to a half an ounce. Um, I don't use anything larger than a two alt hook for New York, so keep that in mind as well. Now, another thing is, is I have found that you need let's see here which one is it you need at least a six a 50 pound net to really make a lot of money here so I would say level 15 would be when you could start grinding here maybe 16 yeah about level 15 or 16 would be when you'd be able to make the most money here. That will also be when, let me see here, make sure I'm telling you right. That will also be when you first get a hold of the, uh, the cranks that you need. No, no, that's later on. Now, using crankbaits, obviously, going to be for later levels so the spoons you are going to need are actually no right here are going to be 
these right here, you're going to need the quarter ounce. You're going to need all the quarter ounce spoons. So, personally, I have found this particular quarter ounce spoon, the red and white, and its brother, this one here, to be really, really good at catching lots and lots of uh, of pike using various retrieves which will be covered in the next video all in all guys I would say level 20 would be about the perfect time to come here but as you can see level 13 is when you get these these spoons here so level 13 at the absolute lowest but again you need about a 50 pound net so 15 or 16 this is an early this is an early teens map if I ever seen one now the other thing you need to do is you need to check the weather before you go and as you can see we're gonna get a peak right here about two o'clock and then it's gonna taper off now I'm going to put in the description the link to the new spreadsheet that I'm using and it's going to tell you the times and the weather in which you need to you need to go you know what I'm saying if I'm I'm using the I'm using the cheat sheet in order to form my plan before I go now see on a sunny day I'm going to get walleye early and then I'm going to switch to pike as the day moves on and af after the peak at about four o'clock I'm just going to forward time to nine and I'm going to fish for walleye all through here. Walleye love the nighttime and they seem to bite fairly consistently during the nighttime. Now on days like this, this is this is the day that you just go out here and fish for whatever you want because mean they're all biting and that's pretty much it for the uh, how to prepare for Emerald Lake the gear you're gonna need uh, the next video is going to be focusing on spots and retrieves and before we go I'm just gonna put a little a few tips out there for you guys um, when you go to New York, you really, really want to try to focus on the walleye. The walleye and the sauger are the ones that are going to give you the most money. Now, as you can see, you can use a you can use a kayak here, and the first kayak is available at level 15, unless you want to spend gold. I would invest early on in a kayak just I would it's 30,000 it's worth the investment because you'll make that money back there's a couple of spots where where there are sauger and walleye that you can't really get to from the bank and I'm going to show those to you later on in a, later on in this series all that being said I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it please like and subscribe Take care of yourselves, and as always, I will see y'all on the water.